The relentless pursuit of police investigators has led to charges being preferred in the brutal death of Monrepo resident, 74-year-old Peter Joseph. The Royal St. Lucia Police Force has formally identified the man accused of causing Joseph's death as a 60-year-old resident of the very same community. Police officers attached to the Miku Police Station formally arrested and charged 60-year-old Thomas Stephen, alias Jaguar, of Monipo for the murder of Peter Joseph. News Force first brought viewers the alleged tragic details surrounding the demise of Joseph on August 15th. A brutal physical altercation landed Joseph in hospital on August 5th. According to his loved ones, his battle to stay alive was futile, and ten nerve-wracking days later, Joseph tragically passed away. He got a blow in the left eye, and by getting that blow, he ended up falling down on the concrete. His skull was cracked in many different races and stuff. He was hit on the left side of his face. His eyes were swollen. It was it was big. Imagine like more than four hours after he was brought to the hospital, he was still unconscious. And from that day, from the 5th up until the day he passed, he never spoke. Press officer in the Royal St. Lucia Police Force, Corporal 28 Vidal, reveals that the autopsy confirmed the gruesome details behind Joseph's tragic death. On Wednesday, 23rd August 2023, a post-mortem examination conducted on the body of Peter Joseph identified his cause of death as a blunt force trauma to the head. The accused, Thomas Stephen, must now answer to the charges brought against him in a court of law. He is presumed innocent until proven guilty. He has been confined to the island's lone penal complex at Bordeley pending trial. Thomas Stephen was taken before the magistrate's court for bail and was subsequently remanded to the bodily correctional facility.